Hi right, guys. Gee, what a surprise. Another gloomy, gray, depressing, at least getting warmer spring day here in the shithole state of Texas. We have somehow stumbled into Wednesday, March 23rd, 2023, and I've been over here at the mainstream media. Uh, checking out California and checking in with my friends. Uh, good God. But anyway, uh, I think you've probably heard enough about uh, what's going on in California, but you might not have heard this one. I've, I've had similar, similar rants, but uh, I always like to see it in this, this outfit popular mechanics popular mechanics usually is one of the most uh full of shit uh i, I mean going back decades popular mechanics has established itself as one of the most full of shit publications i have ever found but every once in a while Popular Mechanics comes up with an article uh, that, uh, you know, like, like, hallelujah. So we're going to cheer on Popular Mechanics and their story, Perfect Humans. Perfect Humans are casually destroying our country and no one can stop them. Yes. Programs to reduce the human population have not made a dent in the destruction path brought by the animals. The hunt is on for a way to efficiently reduce the population of humans. Yes. <clears throat> The rise of the human has been a steady process with inbreeding. Uh huh. All right. Call them whatever you want to. Humans, people, clueless fucking morons, breeders, or anything similar. The underlying meaning is the same. Unencumbered destruction. The persistent problem with humans is not showing any sign of slowing. Yes, in fact, a recent report from Wired magazine highlights failing efforts to control the population and spells out a dire situation where no real solutions exist. And there you go. Well, I can think of a couple of solutions. I, when I was 22, uh, I took the final solution. All right. This is Jack Mayer, uh, a noted authority on humans. Take it away. If you wanted to create the perfect invasive species, one that can pretty much live anywhere, can eat anything, has a very high reproductive rate, is extremely destructive and is also very difficult to control. You would have to look no further than the human. They can live, I mean humans, humans can live just about anywhere from the frozen Canadian prairie provinces down to the hot, humid 
humid deserts of the American Southwest. I didn't realize the Southwest American deserts were humid. And all parts in between. Humans are the ultimate survivor, close quote. And this is just one reason among many why uh, anybody claiming that humans are going extinct anytime soon is never taking much time to study humans. We have only seen the footprint, you know, the ecological footprint of humans increase over time since humans first came, you know, first came to the continent, they have, you know, just gone, well, they've just gone crazy. Uh, and we now have an animal incredibly well suited to its environment. It was unclear whether they were talking about the noble savages Anyway, it doesn't really matter which wave of invasion that they were they're referring to. Uh, for a time, the infestation of humans was largely contained in the northeastern United States, but that is no longer the case. Do you think? Uh, do you think so? On top of this. Recent reports, I think Vegematic might have touched on this, recent reports warn that cold-hardy Canadian humans are beginning to expand their range south. So we have warm-blooded humans heading north, meeting up with the cold-blooded, cold-hardy Canadian humans heading south. This is not good news. Humans chow down on virtually anything, destroying crops or landscapes at equal opportunity and ruining the habitats for native species and have no problem using their big brains and brute strength to drive out any animals that get in their way. And there you go. This is somebody named Will Harris. Quote, today it's an incredible problem. Yes. The losses from humans can be devastating. Our cowboys are out shooting them all the time. Yes. Humans are on the rise. Humans are on the rise and it seems like there is really nothing we can do to stop them. Yes. Early on, euthanizing large groups of humans worked well, helping to eliminate the spread. Huh. But I guess that hasn't, you know, even euthanizing large groups of them, they still keep marching on. Yes. Now, the hunt is on for a solution. Suggestions currently include such options as a poison that works in pigs. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you've probably been hearing for years, you know, the similarities between humans and pigs. So if they get, they're, they're trying to find, you know, what they're talking about is that works in pigs, uh, you know, to work in humans, 
but that doesn't work in anything else. And this is what I have always been talking about with increasing the death rate of, uh, of, of humans by any of these means. The big challenge is, well, if it kills humans, it, it, you know, it could kill all of the other earthlings that we're trying to save by killing the humans. So they're, so they're looking for a poison, you know, that kills humans, but doesn't harm anything else. Good luck on that. For now, for now though, the human problem remains. Do you think so? Uh, the human problem. Uh, here is uh, somebody suggesting hunting should be allowed year round for these destructive and invasive animals. There you go. Uh, but this guy says hunting is not enough. There you go. Uh, anyway, guys, it's the problem. The human problem remains, but uh, now that we've heard from popular mechanics, I can finally get back. I am, uh, I am finally coming to the end of braiding sweet grass. I have, I have somehow, I don't, and don't ask me how, guys. It's been a challenge, but your old crusty doomer uh, is, 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 as hard as this has been, I, am, I think I'm finally going to make it to the end of braiding sweet grass and I think it is time for Hambone Littletail to do an honest review of braiding sweet grass but uh, that will have to be another day because uh, you're saying goodbye to the folks anyway get out there and enjoy the human problem while you still can. Bye guys.